Was that a drum roll or a door knock? I think it sounds a like knock. a door knock. I, okay. But w- there's no door. Like, we're miles away from Justin. Hello? Hi, boy. Hi, yeah, Richard. Okay. Hey, Richard. Hi, how's it going? It's your first episode, right? Uh, first one of winter. Every season I appear, then there, you know there's no need to fear. You know, you say that, Richard, but you have been appearing more and more. If you're ready to have a good think. Prepare yourself for Richard's thing. Ooh, branding. I wrote my own poem. Now, wait, what is it about you that sort of tickles the, the cerebellum and really, really challenges Challenges. Think about fragrance. Think about your life and how you stink for most of it. Think about how you have no fragrance and thus no memory and no one will remember you when you leave. Hey, Richard, you are probably the closest thing I have to an expert that I can ask this question. A friend. Okay. In the movie Encanto, when Camilo changes into a different person, we're not person, doing this. Does he smell? We're not doing this. Does he smell like the person? I need everyone to listen to me. It's the first regular episode of winter. I can only come once a season. This is the law set forth. But I am Richard Stink. I am a fragrance expert and the follower of the One Christ Child. Oh. So happy to be back with you guys. It's a big show, and I've been working on different jokes. And oh, you got I, jokes now. I've been working on jokes. Do it. Well, it's I don't really I'm not oh. I don't write jokes. It's more like in the moment. Oh, it's I contextual. So funny, you bust up. Yeah. yeah, Richard, I want you to know I've been using that uh, imaginary authors set. You got me a lot more. Do yeah. What's your favorite man? Uh, the one that's like a waffle cone. Oh yeah, that's a collaboration with Salt and Straw, the ice cream people, right? I like that one. That one's oh great. yeah, I love that. That's nice. Um, Griffin. Yeah, I I've uh I just bought a new bar. Your wife tells me you smell bad, Griffin. She hates the smell. Whoa. Wow, okay. She hates wow, the all smell. of a sudden Richard, I don't really have feel you like been talking to our wives? Yeah, I don't feel like playing what? anymore in the space right now. They Richard. text they text me. They Why, text Richard? you? No, you smell great, but it's just a joke. I do this joke sometimes to keep Jesus, people on their toes. Richard. This is one of the jokes I worked on. Okay. The one of my jokes I wrote, the first one I have on my notepad here, if you can see, I'll, I'll hold up my notepad to the microphone so you can see the first joke I have is, your wife I hate the way you smell. Yeah, okay. that's, I guess it's that's- kind of a lie, though, if it's not true, and Jesus doesn't like But lying. what are you doing here, Richard? That's a good question. I know what the fuck you're doing here, Richard. It's the same, do, are you doing anything different than you usually do here, Richard? Yeah, I'm very different, man. Is it because it's, it's different, different smells? Difference? No, yeah, I'm talking about new fragrances because it's winter. We got to get you ready. What's a good winter for, fragrance? Like a like a campfire smell to warm what the, warm the. Why don't you let him? Fire. Why don't you just let him talk what instead you? of trying to guess just, what this? I'm smell. trying yeah, to impress him, talk. Griffin. Yeah, I'm, I'm unimpressible, man. Listen. Oh, really? Right. Listen, I want to talk to you guys about celebrity fragrances because celebs. That's who you want to all be smelling like, right? Do you want you look at your favorite person on TV or movie or poem book, and you think I would love to smell like this person? And now you can with the power of celebrity fragrance. Sure. What poets, I wonder, are all up in this industry right now? I never read the poem. I don't know. Okay. I just. I mean, Johnny Sun did a book, right? I would smell like Johnny Sun. Yeah. Uh, so now, so now you can smell like all your favorite different people. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys about I. The thing is that I should mention I don't know much about like America celebrity. Okay. So I don't I don't know like how cool or not cool these people are, but I love the way they smell. Yeah, I mean if they have a fragrance, they're probably pretty fucking cool. Clive Barker, he's like a master of horror. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got Clive Barker's The Forbidden. Huh. That does sound like a. Scary movie Clive Barker might make, though. It's a line, right? There's three of them. So the first one we're going to get you into is Foolish and Vacuous Perfume Oil. What? That's what it's... It's called Foolish and Vacuous Perfume Oil. This is from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab, Foolish and Vacuous Perfume Oil. Here is the description, right? There's no notes. It just says, a scent with no depth. A light, reedy, Almost vapid take on a classic men's for Oh, I'll t- I actually, I'll take that. Yeah. No, it that. It sounds like he's saying this perfume sucks shit. Yeah. 
It's not that. It, it doesn't you know that. smell. You put this in, it smells like water or some shit. It Who smells knows? like pine water. The day burned white. The day burned white. Is this? Smells like plaster and spray paint modeled with buttermilk. Wait, Wait. what the fuck? Is Clive Barker <laughs> making perfume or is he having a vision? Plaster and spray paint modeled with buttermilk, sweet, chalky, and edging on sickly. Fuck white off! And, <laughs> white and golden amber beams of daylight pour through the belly of the scent. We had we we had, we had some serious contract work being done on our desiccated bathroom la- for most of last year. Very few times did I walk into that room when it had been freshly drywalled or painted and said, mm, "I'd love to smell like this all the time." Well, yes, yes, you were yes, missing yes, the yes. buttermilk, Griffin. That's maybe the buttermilk sets it the, sets it right off. Do you want to smell like Tim McGraw's love? Now wait, what was the third one from Clive Barker? It's a oh, collaboration geez. with yeah, Tim sweet. McGraw. <laughs> sweet to the sweet, sugar upon sugar, honey upon honey, white cane sugar and honey absolute. That will bring in the hornets for sure. No, did he? Thank did you. he make Candyman? He I, is the Candyman. I think he did. <laughs> this next one, I don't know this celebrity, but I think you guys would be, I, maybe you guys can walk me through it. Um, his name is a Grumpy Cat. Oh, uh, sh- yeah. This is a cat everyone liked so much because he looked pretty pretty PO'd most of the time. Unlike most I do, cats. I do think he passed away, but it's cool that he's still getting that cheddar. Well, I he's guess. not. His descendants. So he's a grumpy cat. Is that the deal? Yeah, yeah, I mean, a cat. that's yeah, what yeah, it says yeah. on the tin. Yeah. Is he dead? I think he oh, might. I don't have, know. I think he might have hit that rainbow bridge pretty hard. So this is from the mid. They got a lot of fragrances I really like. Actually, they have petrichor, which is a smell after it rains. Uh, yeah, come Thanks, on, that's good. Yeah, but but grumpy cat. <laughs> this one's called kitten fur, and it's a s- smell. A wonderful kitten smell from that spot right behind the kitten's neck. And it's wonderful feelings. There's nothing, no breakdown. It just smells like cat from the grumpy cat. Mm, I don't love the idea of someone knowing where the best smelling part of their cat is. That's just a level of intimacy that I don't, I, I don't, uh, I don't much agree with. Would you like to smell like the love of Tim McGraw? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we got back to this one. Soul to soul, Tim McGraw, two-piece set. A two-piece set much like Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, whose love, everlasting love is captured finally in a great juice. A spray juice, as we call it in the <laughs> industry. This is inspired by Faith Hill and Tim McGraw's classic American love story. Soul to soul is a number. So it's kind of... Oh, happy. that is cool. Tim McGraw captures soul to soul. Tim McGraw captures Tim's modern confidence, balanced with the classic romance Tim and Faith represent. His his modern competence as a lover, as a lover, the fragrance opens with sensual spices, balanced with a brandy accord. That's the foreplay, a, the, baby. A brandy accord. The heart is a classic blend of woods with hints of exotic herbs that lead to a sexy. Yet rugged. That's right. a lot that's of stuff fucking, in one smell. That's the fucking and then the cool down. Okay. Yeah, you get that pumping <laughs> and then the lump <laughs> right there with Tim. Tim's got everything for you in this fragrance that him and uh, Faith Hill shared together with their love. It smells like the room after they finished. Does that uh, particular uh, spray juice come with a cowboy hat shaped lid? Because some of his earlier ones did. This one is a little more upscale. Oh, okay, okay. I got the I got this next one. I got to just show you guys. Well, okay, that's gonna be tough. I show it. I send it in the computer. Hold on. Don't start it. Just open oh, it. Fuck right? Yes. Yeah, I see. It. I'm gonna play the audio and we'll watch it together. Right. Okay. Don't say anything because I'm gonna unmute. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Philip Clark. <laughs> 
Okay. So that's a Philip Pline Richard, I've Frank. never felt dumber asking the question I'm about to ask. Who is that? Yeah, he's a he's a German uh, German fashion designer. It's like a lifestyle buddy. Well, he's also my he's also my best man. <laughs> you marry him? at my wedding. If I ever get to marry oh, Philip and I agree, we go be each other's best man. If we don't have anybody, if we've not found anybody to love by the time we're 27, we get married to each other. This is the deal. <laughs> now, it's the deal that we made. Wait, how old are you? 24. Okay. I, I feel got like- three years. And I, you know what? If I end up married to Philip, it's not so bad. It's a beautiful house and a great lifestyle that seems to really respect women in a major way. <laughs> yeah, sure, Philip. Yeah, Richard. <laughs> that, that ad seems to uh, put a lot of stock in people being excited about it being Philip Pline. And there were some things, obviously, the, the, the thesis of that, that video, and I suppose the smell itself, is this is cologne for people with a lot of money. Um, mm -hmm. Is a fragrance for the load. Right. But there were also things that people were doing with money in that video that I don't think anyone, especially wealthy people, do with money. Like at yeah. one point, a woman was just rubbing money on a car. And I yeah. don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like to clean. To clean. <laughs> but it, money is uh, notoriously dirty. Yeah. yeah. I, also, the, the fragrance. It looks like a credit card. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that part do, of it is definitely badass. Do super rich people often carry their money around in those guns that shoot money out? Is that like a normal rich person thing? Hey, uh, how much was that? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> there you go, man. That's 400 right there. Enjoy. I guess that's how you pay for things. Yeah, when you're I mean, super rich. Listen. Hey, hey, Richard, what do you think? Just quick question. Do you think that 2022 will be the year that my brother, my brother, and me answers more than one question per episode? Or do you think that that's just going to remain, uh, just to remain like a normal trajectory for us? What? Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about it. it. Don't worry about it, Richard. Hey, listen, I got one more to tell okay. you about. And this one, you're going to have to search it out on the, the bay. On the bay? A bay. Oh. Okay. okay. Why? It's an auction site. What? Because it, listen. This one's like, you didn't hear about this from me. Okay? Oh, this is like dark stink. Yeah, this is like underground stink. This is traded. This fragrance is traded because it's illegal. Oh, it's like a crypto, crypto now, smell. Yeah, so right. Oh. So the year is uh, 2004. It is? Jessica Simpson is burning. It's a story, man. Come on, Jesus. Forgive me, Jesus. I am so sorry for taking your name in vain. You're my blessed savior. Apologies. So so it's 2004, right? Jessica Simpson is burning up the charts and burning down our hearts with her great reality show with Nick Lachey and uh, probably Duke of Hazzard. Yeah. yeah, that was probably around then. So then Jessica Simpson launched Desert Beauty, right? Not desert? It's a lot. No, listen. This is the thing about it, okay? You eat. <laughs> you eat. It. What? You eat. It. You eat the perfume. You eat it. You eat the things. You eat them. You. So you eat up sky shampoo, body cream, body wash, blush, and for our purposes, perfume. And you eat. All it. edible. You can eat it. You're all edible. But like actually edible and not like, yeah, you could eat the shampoo. You shouldn't. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the fragrance here because I'm my name is Richard. Yeah, it's, it's not, not Richard, Richard shampoo. shampoo. And it's called Deliciously Kissable Belly Button Love Potion Fragrance. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> right? It's amazing. It's incredible. It's so good, right? No, it is bad. <laughs> the people, the, the people, they hate this. Yeah. This is real. This is real stories. I tell you, one lady from the butterscotch uh, body wash got yeast infection. Very bad. 
I, one person put on deliciously kissable belly button love potion fragrance and according to their review, were chased by bees. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> but then Jessica says she started getting sued a lot. Yeah. And apparently a lot of people don't think it's good to eat your makeup. <laughs> a lot of bummers, maybe. A, a lot of stinkers. I bet it was Nick. And a lot of people got kind of sick uh, based based on Desert Beauty. Well, no one could have um, seen that coming. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, that could have happened to anyone. Eating perfume makes you sick. Who, kn- who knew? Who, who knew? So there's this, I'm going to read to you this story from Days Digital, which recaps an episode. Remember Newlyweds? Oh, yeah. It's a show, right, with Nick and Jessica. Uh, so 2004, there's this episode where, uh, where I'm just going to read to you. Simpson is shooting the campaign to launch Dessert Beauty. Simpson is being shown some of the products from the range, clearly for the first time, and has no idea about any of them. Upon being shown the whipped body cream and told it's a moisturizer, Simpson responds, so it moisturizes, huh? <laughs> then we watch Simpson pose seductively with a cupcake progressively being forced to eat more and more icing until she feels so ill. She ends up crouched on the bathroom floor eating crackers her mother brought her. And then she throws up for three hours. It's a poison. <laughs> She's just consistent. Sell a poison to everyone. She, she did a poison to everyone. And then she gets sued and then you can't get it anymore. But here's the thing about this shit. It smells so good. Does it? That's a problem about deliciously kissable belly button love potion <laughs> fragrance. It smells so good. That a lot of people think it's creamy and yummy, warm vanilla berry. No, don't to, eat to, it. But wait a minute. To which sense is it creamy? It's just like regular creamy. Sh- one reviewer wrote on MakeupAlley.com seventeen years ago. Yet another product I wasted my money on. The smell is faint, and which is a good self burn. <laughs> you did it again, user. <laughs> Shack the cat. Shack the cat. You wasted more money. The smell is faint and lasts only a few minutes. And who would want to lick a belly button? Anyhow? Oh, bro, wow. oh, come on. Hey, can I can I say though? It sounds like shitty perfume, but I'm glad that the smell is faint. If I'm eating it, you know what I mean. Like I can't right. eat. You can't eat perfume. So they the certain certain compromises had to be made, but it also makes you sick though. So they didn't compromise that you, much. It does make you pretty sick. I received juicy in a sample size, and the smell was nice and sweet. It only stayed on me for about one minute, and then faded while I got the leftover sticky mess on my wrist and neck. Not to mention, I was followed everywhere by <laughs> no, bees. Man, do not purchase this. So yes, this is no longer on the market. And I kid about Jessica seems in poisoning people. It's clear she has no idea what is in these products. And it seems like she's having something of a renaissance. So I'm listen, no shade, Jessica. Anyway, that's some different fragrances you could choose from for winter. I hope that you get something. Just please, God, don't wear like green Irish tweed or something like that. Virgin Island water or, or like... You know, like a fragrance like that. Like, please keep it winter, okay? Thank you. Goodbye. Is Axe body spray good? Oh, he's gone. Some Axe is good, yes. Whoa. What about Bod? Is Bod still in there? Bod. Bod is no longer in the mix. Okay. But there's a good, there's some good Axe. You got the, I mean, buy them all. They're (laughs) too (laughs) low. Buy them all. Dump them into a pool. (laughs) Swim around. Play with your kids for once. Uh, all right, come play Richard, with me. Richard, we really got to wrap this kids. episode up. I got to go in the show. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, God. <gasps> okay. <sighs> thank you so much, everybody, for coming to our symposium. We hope you learned something. Now, take Justin's these back. Ideas. We, heard, we heard his life gasp. Justin's yeah. capable of doing this. I was just going to tell people to take what they've learned out into the world, and but that's fine.